What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, we're going to be running through something a little bit unfortunate, but it's something that's currently happening. So as you know, Google Play Music is shutting down. What exactly do I mean by this? Well, they're basically migrating their whole service across to YouTube Music. If you're an existing subscriber of Google Play Music, you have not only YouTube Premium, but also YouTube Music, which is their new similar service. It's similar to Google Play in the way that you can keep all of your songs, etc., etc., on the new platform. And if you're using the open source Google Play desktop music player, you can simply click a button and you'll be transferred across to the new music service with just one click. Hitting play on any of your existing songs will bring it up much as you remember. It's got a similar UI, though it's not exactly the same. All of your suggestions and things alike should still be here as you'd expect. And bringing up the queue, we have everything as you might remember, though it still looks a little bit different. Either way, with all of that aside, how exactly do we transfer all of your existing music, likes, playlists, etc., etc., from Google Play Music over here across to the YouTube Music platform? The official way to do it is using the link down in the description below. If you receive this email over here because you're an existing subscriber talking about Google Play Music going away, this link over here saying update your music library is how you transfer your music from Google Play Music to the new YouTube Music platform. Upon clicking this link, you'll be taken to music.youtube.com forward slash transfer. Though, if you see the screen over here, you're not on the base account for your email. What exactly does this mean? Well, simply click the icon in the top right, click switch accounts, and then simply switch to the account that is linked to the actual email address. How do you know which one this is? Well, when you first log into the Google platform, you'll be dropped onto this account. On google.com and other sites, the icon for this channel will be the same as the one inside of your Google account. Anyway, once you found the right account, you'll see the screen over here either transfer complete or something about begin transfer. If you see transfer complete and you've been using the Google Play Music platform since transferring, simply click transfer again at the bottom over here. Otherwise, you should see a button saying transfer. Upon clicking the button, the page will reload and you'll see your recommendations get transferred across basically instantly. And depending on how many songs you've liked, etc., etc., they'll be transferred across as well. So this will take a couple of minutes to finish. And once it's done, if you use the Google Play desktop music player, switch it across to the YouTube platform, you should see all of your music, like lists, and the rest of it transferred across. Coming back to my email, I see something that looks like this. Your Google Play music library has been transferred to YouTube music. What does this mean? Well, it's simply copied across my playlists, music library, likes, dislikes, etc., etc. Though, if I head back into the Google Play music platform, you'll see that all of my likes, playlists, and the rest still remain here. Though, of course, if you're still going to use Google Play Music up until I think it's September when they shut this platform down completely, then you'll need to go ahead and transfer again using the same method and the button that I clicked at the bottom saying transfer again. Just so you know, eventually Google Play Music will disappear and the only platform that's left is YouTube Music over here. Of course, if you have an existing subscription, make sure that the plan will still work. I'm not entirely sure with how that works, but if you're paying for YouTube Premium, then you have Google Play Music on top of it. And quite a while ago, they did advertise that they are combining the two platforms. If you pay for one, you get the other. So why not switch and pay for the one? Well, anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.